Today, we're finishing our topic for our first week. We talked about why you should not be looking for motivation to be your one and only driver of getting you to the gym. And we talked about how you can go about turning going to the gym into a habit instead. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Now to finish up this week's topic, we're going to discuss sticking to a diet. Now keep in mind, this isn't about what diet is best, how much protein, fats, keto, paleo, etc. I'm of the opinion that most diet strategies have some type of appropriate application depending on the person and the desired goal. And the research supports that. The number one predictor of diet success is how well the individual sticks to the diet, not what the actual diet is. And we'll come around to specifics on nutrition a uh, week after next. But again, today we're talking purely about how to go about sticking to a diet. Now you could have the best meal plan ever conceived, but if you don't stick with it, it doesn't matter. So first, there's the matter of resisting certain foods. Now things like ice cream and chips are particularly bad for progress. Why? Because they are full of calories, yet they won't fill you up, allowing you to eat large amounts and thus tons of calories. Eating a thousand calories worth of chicken, broccoli, and rice can be challenging. Eating a thousand calories of ice cream and chips is extremely easy. And this leads me to a concept called satiety. Now, satiety is the state of being sated or satisfied to the full. Satiety makes a massive difference when it comes to diet and weight loss success. As I said a moment ago, the number one predictor of weight loss success is sticking to the diet. The best predictor of whether or not the person sticks to the diet is hunger. A hunger is the thing that must be avoided as best as you can manage it. If you think about it, you have a really hard day at work, you had an argument with your significant other, you sat in traffic. Remember what we talked about last time with stress as a trigger. You've hardly eaten anything and then you binge away on unhealthy foods when you finally have a moment of rest later in the day. But what if you weren't hungry in the first place? And that's the place we wanna to get to, where you don't feel hungry in moments of stress and so you take out your stress in a more positive manner. And groups of, a group of researchers took a bunch of studies and formed what they dubbed the fullness factor. They created a formula that takes into account calories, protein, fiber, and fat per 100 grams of said food. And here's the list of foods. Please screenshot it so you have it saved somewhere. Here's some of the statements made by the researchers. The satiety index can help you choose slimming food that is filling instead of fattening food that is filling, but to a bad result. There is no need to go hungry just to lose weight, and feeding your hunger in a smart way will keep you on target with your diet. Knowing about the satiety index can help you stay on track. If you have ever tried to get rid of excess weight by eating less, you know that ultimately there is no way of winning a battle with your hunger. The quest is to find slimming foods with the best ability to satisfy your hunger for as long as possible. And here's where the satiety index comes in. And these are some of the recommendations made by the researchers. Protein is the nutritive substance that satisfies hunger best based on its energy content and ability to make you feel full over the longest period of time. Carbohydrates are also good if you exclude plain sugar and well-known fast carbs, white bread, etc. Fatty foods are surprisingly not filling, even though people expected them to be. Good news for dieters. Foods rich in fiber also rank high and contain few calories. Now, generally speaking, foods that rank high and satisfy your hunger for a longer period of time are foods with high protein, water, and or fiber content. Now, these foods will help you feel full, literally by filling your stomach, and with a full stomach, you can more easily avoid nibbling. And I agree with every word there. Now, I wanted to give you one more trick to help you stick to your diet, and it's a very simple one. Don't have undesirable foods in your home or apartment or whatever. Now, it sounds obvious, but many people make this mistake. I saw this a lot during my personal training days where people would struggle not to eat the chips or ice cream or bread or whatever it might have been 
but if they didn't have it at home when they got home from a long day, it wouldn't have made a difference because it wouldn't have been there. They go to the grocery store, which is another trick I just realized. Don't go to the grocery store hungry. You will not make the best decisions. People go to the grocery store hungry and purchase things they probably shouldn't have, and then in a moment of stress, overeat on those things. So the trick here is don't buy them at all. Stay away from the snacks aisle, stay away from the ice cream section, and don't buy it. If you have fruit instead of candy at home and you get a desire for something sweet, you'll have no choice but to grab the fruit. Try to think about things from this perspective. Put yourself in the position to be successful. For example, and this is a bit extreme, but it will make the point. Many people who have struggled with alcohol abuse will swear off going to bars, clubs, or parties. They won't put themselves anywhere near a place where alcohol might be easily accessible. That makes sense, right? Just stay away from the thing you struggle to resist. It's obvious with something like alcohol, but many people don't consider that in regards to sugar, for example. Of course, these things can't be avoided completely, but you can certainly avoid having poor foods in your home. Again, just don't buy it. And that's it for week one. Next week, we're gonna start on uh, gaining muscle, I believe, and then losing fat, I forget. I'll, I'll put something at the bottom that says what we're going on next week. Look, I'm Coach Ty with Muscle Wiki. I hope you found this first week useful. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you with the next one. Deuces.